Municipal bonds offer tax-free interest and are beneficial for very high income earners. Here we'll look at the best municipal bond ETFs. So why municipal bonds? Municipal bonds or munis are bonds issued to investors by states and municipalities to pay for infrastructure and operating expenses. Muni bonds are popular among high income earners because their interest payments are exempt from federal and some state taxes. Public purpose munis are specifically free from the alternative minimum tax called AMT free. Municipal Municipal bonds are more correlated with stocks than treasury bonds, but less correlated than corporate bonds. Muni bonds also have a much lower default rate than corporate bonds. If yield is a concern, as with using bond interest as income, you can easily see if muni bonds might make sense for you. Simply compare the after-tax yield of an investment grade bond to the tax-free yield of the muni bond. For example, if a taxable bond is paying you a 3% coupon and your tax rate on that income is 25%, the after-tax yield is 2.25%. If the tax-free muni bond is paying more than 2.25%, it is probably the better choice, particularly if we're talking about junk bonds. So now let's check out the best municipal bond ETFs. First up is MUB or MUB, the iShares National AMT Free Muni Bond ETF. MUB is the most popular municipal bond ETF with nearly $18 billion in assets. The fund seeks to track the S&P National AMT Free Municipal Bond Index. This ETF is broadly diversified with over 4,400 individual holdings. It has a weighted average maturity of about five and a half years and an expense ratio of 0.07%. Next on our list is VTEB, the Vanguard Tax Exempt Bond Index ETF. VTEB is a slightly more affordable way to track the same index as MUB. VTEB has an expense ratio of 0.05%, making it the most affordable on this list. While still highly liquid, VTEB can be considered less liquid than MUB with about half the assets. Third and last on our list is SHA the Spider Barclays Short-Term Municipal Bond ETF. SHM only targets short-term municipal bonds with a weighted average maturity of about three years. As such, investors can expect lower volatility, but also lower expected returns than the two previous ETFs. SHM seeks to track the Barclays Capital Managed Money Municipal Short-Term Index and has over $4 billion in assets and an expense ratio of 0.20%. What do you think of municipal bonds? Do you own any in your portfolio? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.